now tuned into the greatest. So we take it in. over. One city at a time. What's up, YouTube? Um, I just want to give you guys a quick tip. This is for new painters, of course. If you're already a painter, then you already know what I'm about to say. But for new painters, let me just stress something to you guys real quick because a lot of you guys that order stuff through my site, you ask these questions. So let me try to address this for you. Before you paint your car, always know what the temperature is going to be prior to the day that you plan to paint the car so like right now in my shop it is 75 degrees according to the wall thermometer but let's see what the car says now i always use a digital thermometer before i paint a car to make sure that i choose the right speed of activator or reducer depending on what i'm doing before i paint a car so now the wall says 75 and the car says 80. Just double check a few spots. 81, 80. All right, so it's pretty consistent. Uh, it's about 80 degrees in here. So I am still can fall into the medium category. So whether you, if you're between 70 to 90 degrees, you can use medium or standard activator. If you're going to be, let's say, 60 to 70 degrees, then you're going to need fast. If you're going to be 90 degrees or better, you're going to need slow. Now, some companies do offer extra slow. Some offer extra fast. Depends on whatever product line you're using. But it is important to use the right one. It's not based on your patience. Don't just use fast because you don't want to give it time to dry. You have to use what works with the temperature of not only the space that you're painting in but also what you're painting see 80 degrees all right it's not based on your patience you have to allow the products to do what they're going to do so you need the right temperature in order for it to perform like it's supposed to perform now the ideal temperature for painting is about 70 to 75 degrees beautiful temperature for painting 80s a little warm you see i'm sweating a little bit but you know that that's what it is i mean i'm still within the medium range so i still can get it done because if you use the wrong temperature let's say you use fast when it's too hot outside let's say it's 95 where you are and you use fast activator by the time you spray the back of the car before you make it to the front the back is going to be too dry it's not going to be the right amount of tack that you need to grab that next coat it's going to be dry by the time you shoot the trunk of this car and make your way to the hood of this car the back is going to be dry now if you use slow it's going to take it a little longer for things to set up. So if you're doing stuff like metallics and stuff like that and you don't want to have any sagging or within your clear or whatever, don't use slow unless it's hot. Because if you use slow when you don't need to use slow, you're going to get things like sags and it's going to take too long to set up. Each speed of activator or reducer is made to work with a certain temperature the temperature in which your space uh, the, the space that you're painting in and also this so a lot of times you'll see on data sheets when they're talking about your substrate so in this uh instance this car is the substrate this is what i'm going to be painting so the temperature of the car plays a factor because let's say some of you guys paint outside you may paint outside on an 80 degree day but your car may be a hundred degrees that sun is going to heat this metal up so it may be 80 it may be 75 outside but the car may be 100 the car may be 90 so if that's the case you're going to use slow because if not it's going to as soon as you put it on the car the heat from the car is going to dry your paint all right so i just wanted to give you guys another tip on why it is important to use the right temperature activator or reducer when doing paint jobs this is how you get good results follow the instructions whatever brand you're using whatever company you're using there's going to be instructions follow the instructions for those products all right guys i'll catch you in the next video